Good morning, everybody. We're going to take you out of this world for this particular uh, photo shot. Uh, up, uh, this is uh, obviously in outer space, the Northern Lights. This was taken just last week when we had the Aurora Borealis, but we had a full moon. So the full moon was casting a shadow or casting light on the shadowed part of the Earth. And then you could see the Northern Lights there. Really cool. That is the International Space Station. This was taken by an astronaut of French descent, Thomas Pesquet. Uh, Pes Pesquet, I want to say. Uh, I just looked that up and uh, He's uh, an astronaut that's been up there for a while. He was on the International Space Station, but he's also up there uh, last week, and he uh, took this shot. So beautiful shot. Hey, I just put this on my Facebook page, Kevin Craig Fox 17. But as a bonus, if you want to see the Northern Lights in action from last week, they have video of that. He shot video of it, and I put the link to that on my Facebook page. So check that out. I've also uh, put that out on uh, Instagram. So if you want to follow me on Facebook, uh, or not Facebook, but also uh, Instagram or Twitter, the handle there, at Fox Weatherman. Across the lower 48 states, we've got lots of clouds socked in across our area. There's nothing else going on immediately except this low pressure system and this moisture riding up into the southeast United States. That's going to continue to ride it up in to the Northern Territories. And by the time we get into tomorrow night and Thursday, this moisture here is going to be moving into Michigan. So we likely see some rain showers for Thursday and maybe in the Friday. Live to operate are not showing anything out there now. We are dry uh, and it's very hard to see, but there's some gray shading on the map here. Uh, maybe a couple of sprinkles or some mist over towards Detroit, but we are expecting to stay dry for the most part here today. Lots of clouds socked in right now and probably through a decent chunk of the day. As we get into the afternoon hours, we may start to break that up just a little bit. Our temperatures, because of the cloud cover, have held up to around 60 or better in most spots. The exception, Mount Pleasant and Big Rapids at 59 degrees. We're 62 in Fremont, 61 in Granville and uh, Grand Rapids. We're 61 in Battle Creek, 62 on the south side of Kalamazoo. And even our southern counties hanging in the upper 50s to mainly lower 60s out there. So, uh, again, somewhat mild. We're 62 in Three Rivers, much the same in Constantine. So as we look at our forecast for today, we're talking mainly cloudy skies through the first half of the day. We might start to break up some of that cloud cover. It's going to be a very gradual thing if we can do it at all. And we'll probably start to see areas north of Grand Rapids break that cloud cover up first. I'll call it partly sunny to mostly cloudy, comfortable temperatures around 70, 72 with a northeast wind at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Here's what it looks like on the uh, map, the future track map. These lines show the wind stream lines the flow at the surface, a northeasterly wind, which is the dry flow, it usually will eat up or eat away or erode that cloud deck. But there's so much of the cloud cover and we may get trapped up under what we call a subsidence inversion. So we may not be able to break that up. It may be a very slow process before we can do that. I think we'll go variably cloudy overnight. And by the time we go through Wednesday, a little bit more sunshine than today, but already by the late afternoon and evening hours, the next batch of cloud cover coming up. You can see some of these green blobs. We may start to see some rain showers Wednesday after midnight into early Thursday and then throughout the day on Thursday more rain showers being flung up from that area of low pressure that's going to be down to our south. How much rain are we talking about? Well from Wednesday at 6 p.m. through Friday at 6 p.m. there could be three quarters of an inch to as much as an inch across our southern county. So it looks like another decent soaking of rain over that two day period before that system finally moves out of here. So for today 72 degrees mostly cloudy maybe some breaks of sunshine later today 74 tomorrow partly cloudy to partly sunny sky. Thursday, rain showers off and on likely. Temperatures around 73, maybe a rumble of thunder. Scattered showers on Friday and then Saturday and Sunday look dry. And then look at the temperature for Monday, 78 degrees beyond the scope of this seven day forecast. Look at temperatures warmer on the eastern half of the nation. That's a bullseye of temperatures, 80% chance of above normal temperatures for the week of August, uh, August, uh, October 11th through October 17th. So it looks like the rest of the month, or at least the next part of it, may be warm as well. That's why. Let's take a look at traffic as we approach 6.50 on this Tuesday morning. Here's Rob.